Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing Sunday. Welcome to our Sunday Stock Talk. If this is your guys' first time tuning on in, hello, my name is Ricky. I run the largest YouTube channel and the largest private trading community on Facebook for those who trade in the stock market. One of the things that we'd love to invite you to do is if you're not already part of our free Facebook group, feel free to refresh your screen and it's gonna be the first link in the description. We have over 251,000 members and it is absolutely for free. And again, that is that first link down below. If this is your, if this is your guys' first time tuning on in, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you get alerted every single time that we go live moving forward. So I'm gonna say what's up to a couple of people that are tuning in for the first time. I know we have um, Oscar, we have Jamie, we have Danny. Uh, we have a little bit of, uh, of a joke uh, within our live streams and I always say, come on Oscar, don't forget to drop that like. So what's going on Claudia, what's going on Dalton? Drew Fit, I'm trying to see if I see any, uh, uh, what is it, uh, familiar faces or names. What's going on, Ismail? What's up, Megan, Mikkel? What's up, what's up? We got Bobby, Anish, Derek, Danny, Nicholas, Christian. Ah, they're moving a little bit too quick. Uh, Gary, Dallas, Colin, oh man. So all together, I just wanna say thank you guys again for taking time out of your Sunday uh, to join us during these live trading sessions. We host these every single Sunday and it's at 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So hopefully this could be something that you get a little bit more in the routine of doing. Uh, first of all, I just wanna say hopefully you and your families and your loved ones are staying safe uh, and out of harm's way when it comes down to these very unfortunate times. One of the things that we've shared so many times before in this YouTube channel is again, there is no question that it's, it's a very unfortunate time, but during these unfortunate times, there's great opportunity that is, is among us, right? All we have to understand what to do is, is how to take advantage and, and inform ourselves, take time to inform ourselves about how to take advantage of these opportunities. So I really hope that throughout this video, I just get you one step closer to your overall goal. And that's, that's gonna be my job for today. So pretty much uh, what we do during these Sunday Stock Talks is I break down whatever stocks it is that you guys see value in, and I simply share my opinion on it in preparation for the trading week. The market is open Monday through Friday. <clears throat> So this is why we host these every single Sunday in preparation for the overall Sundays, uh, uh, in preparation for the overall trading week. What's going on, Chad? One of the things that I would really encourage you guys to do is if you guys want to make sure that I break down your stock, that you post it in the ticker callout format. Uh, Ismail is going to be sharing the ticker callout format here in the live chat. All we ask you to do is in preparation for your next trade, we just want to make sure that you're not just asking what you should do, but that you have a plan. And I think that if you are at least someone that's trying to make it in the stock market, you would at least understand why we're encouraging you to take time before you actually take the trade to plan it all out. And again, at overall, it's something that's in your best interest. So uh, for those that love to ask what platform I'm using, I'm using the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. It's one of many platforms out there that it's available. It's not the best platform. There's interactive brokers, there's Charles Schwab, there's Robinhood, there's Webull, there's Fidelity, you know, there's so many amazing platforms out there. Just because I use something, just because I do something, does not mean that it's the best. It's just something that I personally see valid or that works well for me. So I'm gonna start off with Andre. So we're gonna start off with NCLH. So NCLH, we're jumping right into it. So we're gonna have a quick Sunday stock talk so we can get right back to it. Uh, if I were to ask you, for those that are tuning in, and if you guys were to break down NCLH, uh, so this is Norwegian uh, Cruise Line. One of the things that I, uh, if I'm not, if I do remember correctly, I think it was on Thursday, it had a very green day um, as the overall market did. And then it aggressively began to pull back, especially during normal market hours. So it aggressively sold off. So I can see with the RSI and with the MACD that, you know, it's a little bit more on the oversold side. It dropped 23% on Friday. Just because something is oversold does not make it a good buy. I don't wanna to spend too much time with this. One of the things that I do wanna point out is forward slash NQ, which is 
the NASDAQ future overall is down. It's only down 1% as of right now, but if this opens up in the red and the S&P 500 opens up in the red and the Dow Jones, so this is the natural, uh, the uh, not natural gas, the NASDAQ future. So as long as these continue to sell off, then that means that the overall market is most likely gonna continue to follow. So in correlation, right, it would make sense on why NCLH overall would then continue to follow if it's been following overall market conditions. If I'm not mistaken, NCLH has been taken uh, has taken a bigger hit uh, just to just due to the, all the unfortunate news that's been shared with it. So as of right now, I just I don't think that we've seen the very bottom of the overall market. I think the overall cases uh, people are continuing to get infected and more people now are dying than ever before. So with that being said, because it's not getting any better, um, I just think that it's only a matter of time for us to make new lows on the overall market. Therefore, NCLH. Uh, will most likely follow. So with that being said, I think it pays to be patient and confirmation is definitely key. And I just don't think that we have that just yet. So I'm gonna set my alerts here for uh, NCLH. I'm gonna set an alert once it breaks above the EMA line. There's nothing wrong with setting setting alerts, but I'm also gonna set my alert if and when it breaks below $10. Again, I would love to follow up with it and see where it stands. I do agree that I do see NCLH to be viewed as a good deal. I wouldn't view it to be a good buy. Yeah, maybe long term it might make sense, but as of right now, it's just we have no confirmation. And I think it's just a matter of time for the overall market to continue to drop. So what's going on, Chris? I appreciate you posting it in the ticker call out format. I'll break down your stock. So this is play. PLAY, this is, is this Dave and Busters? Yep, Dave and Busters overall. Um, very similar pattern. So I feel like a lot of the stocks that you guys are gonna ask me to break down today are gonna have very similar patterns as they've been following the overall market. Um, again, we did see a bounce as we saw the overall market have three green days last week, which was pretty rare in comparison to the la the previous week's trading. So overall, very aggressive sell-off due to the unemployment report and due to the stimulus package that acted as a positive catalyst that drove the price up. We're seeing a lot of consolidation right now because the overall market is dropping right now. I still think that again, this is just my opinion, but I still think that because it's now so overbought and the market recovered a little bit, I think now it's in the very early stages of it potentially pulling back. Right now, again, it's barely down 1%. So in comparison, I would really pay attention to where the futures market for NASDAQ and S&P 500 are during close to market open and take that into consideration when it comes down to, you know, any stock that it is that gets influenced by the overall market direction. As of right now, I would set my alerts to, you know, be alerted when we actually begin to make new lows. Uh, I am not seeing any indication of higher highs on PLAY. Yeah, it did push up. It is consolidating at the EMA line, but I still think again that we're still in the very early stages of you know the, the overall market selling off. I think things are only going to continue to get worse. So let me go ahead and break this one down. So I'm just gonna copy this one. And we're getting a lot of consolidation. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. So this one ended the day at uh, almost half of a percent up in the day. Um, looks like it has low volume. Um, no, it's actually not that bad. It had a very consistent pattern on Friday. This one's actually not not too bad. Let me see. Okay. Uh, now looking at the twenty day one uh, twenty day one hour chart, we can see that it almost gets rejected every single time at the SMA line. Patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't have to. Um, I would definitely look a little bit more into it on what has caused this thing to find a support and indicate signs of an uptrend pattern. Again, please just be aware that the overall market direction isn't selling off. And although this thing isn't exactly following overall market direction, it did change directions, right? And it did sell off. And although it is pushing up as of right now, look at the MACD, look at the RSI, and just ask yourself, is there any indication on or any reason on why it should continue to uptrend? Uh, I'm gonna set my alert to see if this thing actually ends up breaking about $40 but because the market is already pulling back just a little bit um, and because this thing looks a little bit more on the overbought side, I just wouldn't be so surprised when, uh, if it does end up pulling back. One of the things that we've shared many times before is you wanna make sure that you do your part in taking a trade or taking an investment on not only something that you know is uptrending, but that is also viewed as a good deal. And just looking at this 20 day, one hour chart and almost every single time for the past 20 days, again, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't have to, but almost every single time, every time that it approaches this SMA line, it gets rejected, it gets rejected. So do you, you know, if the potential for it to get rejected, do you want to either buy right now and it 
be at the very top and then it just gets rejected? Or do you think that it would be in your best interest because it's at a critical point that maybe you can just simply give it a little bit more time for it to, for the direction to be a little bit more clear? Are we going to make new highs or are we actually just going to pull back? And then in that case, it would just be in your best interest to give it time, set your alerts and follow up with it. Maybe when the direction is just a little bit more clear. But again, of course, that is just my opinion. So we got Danny talking about SQ. So a uh, very popular uh, ETF that I've talked many times about before. Um, as the market sells off forward slash NQ, this pretty much does the opposite, right? So when the market sells off, SQs goes up. When the market recovers or goes up, then SQs goes down. So if you begin to see that the market begins to aggressively sell off and stuff like that, then this might be something that you might wanna pay attention to. Right now it's at the EMA line, so it would be very similar to what we just talked about on RH, uh, what was it? I think it was RHHBY. Uh, but as of right now, it's at the EMA line. We're almost at confirmation of this thing trying to make higher highs, but we don't have confirmation. I mean, the market is only down 1% as of right now. So I think I would really give this time. And if you see a very consistent, so one of the things, if you're planning on trading SQQQ, one of the things that I would really pay attention to is forward slash NQ, of course, and its overall direction. If there's a super clear pattern of natural, uh, of uh, forward slash NQ selling off, then of course it would make sense on then why you would wanna take a position on SQs. But as of right now, I just don't know if we're there. We're doing a lot of consolidation right now. It's not aggressively selling off, it's consolidating. So the direction is not super clear. So what I'm here to share with you is, I'm not saying that SQs is not a good trade. I'm just saying that I would need to give this thing more time for the direction to be more clear. Uh, I think that we can all agree, if you guys are day traders, it is so much easier. It's not easy, but it's so much easier to take a successful and make a successful trade when the direction is in your favor. So my son was about to say natural gas. So yeah, um, I keep comparing forward slash NQ as forward slash NG. I literally trade as uh, natural gas all the time. So it's just a, yeah, unfortunate, um, what's it called? Just error that I keep uh, running into. So, all righty. So I'm trying to read, uh, let's see who has it in the ticker call out format. So we got BLPH, what's going on, Brett? So what was that? It was a BRPH? Nope, I got that one wrong. There we go, let's see. Let's see if I can catch it. B L P H. <laughs> All right. All righty. So I'm going to let the group uh, talk about this. I'm not, uh, I can almost guarantee you that I understand. I, I think I know what this company is probably saying. They probably are talking about them having a pharmaceutical company that, or it is a, ph a therapeutics company. Sorry that's trying to find a vaccine for coronavirus, right? Uh, I'm gonna give our group, so all the, all the viewers right now, why would I not take a trade on this? What, like what about this is, yeah, it's above the EMA line, yes, it's uptrending, why would I not take a position on this? I have nothing, like, it's just my opinion, right? But I can almost guarantee you that 80% of the people that are watching this can easily identify what this is. And uh, it's a high risk, high reward. It's manipulated. And you can say whatever it is that you want. And it's just an opinion, right? Uh, there's a bunch of news probably being shared. I haven't even looked at this. So this is BLPH. I can almost reassure you just based off of its descending pattern for the past 180 days and these random pushes, random pushes, random pushes, random pushes, right? I can see why it caught your attention. It probably popped up on a scanner. It's probably being talked about on stock twits or someone's probably trying to encourage you to trade it. First of all, you should never trade based off of someone else's opinion, right? Another thing is you should take time to inform yourself on how pump and dumps work and the risk involved. I'm not here to say that you can't make money off of penny stocks. I'm not here to say that you can't make money off of pump and dumps. I know you can make money doing anything but it, is it worth 
the risk that it comes with. That's all I'm here to share with you. I would not trade this. I, I don't like pharmaceutical companies. I don't like therapeutics companies. I don't like bioscience companies. I think it's a majority of them are all BS. They all get manipulated due to them trying to find a vaccine and they never do. They try to go through the FDA approval process, uh, process and they never you know, complete it and then they pull back. So all I'm saying is if you think that this is something that's so certain, take time to inform yourself on how pumping dumps work, what they look like and why they're so high risk. And with that being said, um, you know, you can then revisit this. I think that this is something that's very short lived. I hope, <clears throat> I hope BLPH can find a vaccine and I haven't even looked at it. I don't even know if it has anything to do with the coronavirus, but let's see. Okay. So it was getting uh, paused. So it was getting halted. So you could already tell that there's been a lot of times that it's been pumped. Why can't I move this? The heck? Right. Yep, multiple times FDA approval right there. That'd be. Uh, Surges 467% on FDA approval for extended use of. Yep, I can almost guarantee that this is going to try to treat coronavirus. Where is it? Nope, oh, there it is. COVID. Yeah. So um, I would say test me, right? If you're someone that is so certain that this thing is going to go up, um, I, I wish you the best of luck. I just, um, I'm, it's it's not within my means of trying to trade something like this. So with that being said, I don't even want to spend too much more time with it. I'm just going to set my alert uh, when it breaks below $10 and it wouldn't be much of a surprise to me based off of its history. I agree that if it's hyped up, if there's enough marketing behind it and there's enough people pumping it, then yeah, it, it can push up. But overall, does it make sense to you? And can you manage that risk? question to ask yourself, right? I think it's only a matter of time for it to be trading below $5 in my honest opinion. But um, again, at the end of the day, I'm completely open to the idea of me just sharing my opinion. And it's simply just that. So there's so many people trying to share. Um, wow. I don't think I've seen the chat this big in a while. Um, I can't even read. A... All right. here. So uh, WDHR. All right. Uh, whoa, yep, not something that I would trade. I don't even want to spend time. There's, I don't even know how I would read this. What's going on, Drew Fit? All right, sounds good, man. Uh, hope you have a good Sunday. We'll see you at Market Open uh, during our live trading session. So uh, here we go, Tom. So we got ACB. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, just looking at ACB. This, so this, is, this should be Aurora, right? I think that's what this is. Yep, uh, overall descending pattern. It's continuously getting rejected by the SMA line. And look at the RSI, look at the MACD, and look at this SMA line. It wouldn't be a surprise if it begins to pull back and it actually begins to trade below the EMA line. Overall direction is not in this favor. If there's a fundamental reason on why it should push up, then yeah, um, cool. I, I'm not informed on that as I don't trade Aurora. But as of right now, just performing a quick little technical analysis, I can, you know, based off of its history, its patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't have to. I would say that it's only a matter of time for it to make new lows. Uh, and drop below 60 cents. So here we go. Ticker symbol D E A C. So D E A C. Alrighty. So D A C was showing signs of an uptrend, uh, began to aggressively sell off. Looks like it's trying to indicate signs of an uptrend, but right now it's testing the EMA line. Again, I would really just revisit this on Monday and see if its direction ends up actually. So this is closely following overall market direction. It looks like it's trying to push up as the market was trying to push up. But overall, I think it's only a matter of time as the market sells off that this thing follows as well. But again, only time will tell. So let's follow up with this as it's at a critical point. I wouldn't try to guess and try to hope that it pushes up and get into it right away. It would make more sense to give it time if it does end up pushing up and you see an opportunity present itself, the risk to reward ratio be in your favor and it meets your criteria, then great, all power to you. But again, it comes with time. Uh, one of the things for everyone that is typing a message right now, first of all, 
everyone that's just typing in a ticker symbol, I will not break down the stock that you are sharing. I've said it multiple times, for your best interest, if you want me to assist you, help yourself. I am not going to break down your stock if you don't take time to post it in the ticker call out format. It's that simple. It's like, if you cannot take time, so Coco saying JNUG, I can promise you, Coco, you can post JNUG a thousand times and I will not break it down for you. If you cannot take time to plan out your trade to help yourself, it's not, it doesn't do me any good. If you can't take time to help yourself, well, how do you expect other people to take time to assist you? It just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. So Dalton, I'll break down JDST. So I appreciate you taking time out of your day to plan out one of your next trades. So JDST aggressively selling off trading at $2.37. One of the first things that I wanna say is although it did have a 23% day on Friday, please just look at this, the one day, one minute chart. Uh, actually, Friday is not that bad. Um, actually, no it is. It looks solid and it looks easy but think about this, as it's uptrending and if it were to pull back from $2.35, right, all the way down to $2.20, it drops 6.5%, as you can see with my little trend line tool, and then it picks up right away. This is something that I just wanna remind you that with great opportunity comes great responsibility. And if you are a beginner trader, if you are a beginner trader and you're someone that's just getting started, I don't think it's your, in your best interest to try to trade stocks that move this quick. If you're someone that can manage your risk very quickly, you plan out your trade, then great, all power to you. All I'm saying right now is the overall direction is not in your favor with JDST, and it's not even in your favor with JNEG either. Overall, they're both aggressively selling off, they're both extremely high risk, and they're both extremely volatile. I'm not saying that they're horrible stocks or ETFs. At the end of the day, just understand the way they move and how quickly they move and ask yourself. Don't just think about how much money you can make, but try to understand the risk that is involved with trading them. Because again, the stock market is not a nine to five. You don't just invest a certain amount of hours and you get a direct output of pay. You can lose money. So please do yourself a favor and set yourself up for success. Take time just to make sure that you understand that the overall current direction is not in your favor and to understand that again with just great opportunity comes great responsibility and this just comes at too high of a risk for myself and my own style of trading. So I'm gonna break down about four more stocks and then we'll call it a day. So I didn't get a ticker symbol here. There's no ticker symbol. So all right, this was forward slash, I think you put V-I-X-Y. No, I think you were just talking about. Okay, so overall, uh, practically uptrending as the market began to sell off, right? This thing began to pull back as the market began to push up. So it's almost doing the opposite. So if I'm not mistaken, this would be the inverse of what it be VIX. No, VIX is doing the very, so it's just a small. Alrighty, um, so I, I would still wait with it. Um, I would still wait for market open. I would still wait for the direction to be a little bit uh, more clear. As of right now, it looks like it's trying to uptrend, but we're still making lower highs. So again, there's nothing wrong with simply giving it more time. I do agree that I do see a lot of upside potential based off of previous highs. It was previously trading at sixty four dollars and fifty six cents. Uh, so with that being said, you know, again, it has a lot of upside potential, just like it has a lot of downside potential. So when it comes down to taking this trade and the dollar amount that you're about to put into it, don't just determine how much money you can make, but also take into consideration how much money that you can lose and why it's so important to wait for confirmation. So I'm going to set my alert both below $40 and I'm going to set my alert for above 45 to see where the direction ends up pointing us at. So here we go. All right, so we got, all right.
You guys cracked me up. I'm seeing some of you guys posting ticker symbol or ticker callouts for the first time. <laughs> Someone's typing in, not sure. At SPXS. So, SPXS. You guys cracked me up, man. Um, okay, so very similar pattern. To, uh, this would be very similar pattern to uh, SQQQ. So I don't even want to spend too much time with this. It's pretty much the same breakdown. Uh, when the S&P 500 goes up, this goes down. When the market S&P 500 goes down, then this goes up because the market began to recover this to the exact opposite. So as of right now, we're pretty much at a critical point where we're trying to see, hey, is the market going to start selling off again or is it going to begin to push up? So we're in a consolidation phase. So again, we simply have to give it more time for the direction to be more clear and just like as of right now, if the market does end up beginning to recover, again, these are just options, right? As in like, you know, options of what we can put our money into. This is SPXS, which goes up when the market goes down. SPY follows, if I'm not mistaken, overall market direction. So if the actual market ends up recovering, then this is something that will begin to uptrend. So just know that you have various different options. Don't just focus and hope that the market sells off because you put your money in something. Why not allow an opportunity to present itself? So I just wanted to make sure that I presented you with both sides of the ETF and inverse ETF in a way that you can make money just depending on the direction of the overall market. So it just means that you have to take time to inform yourself a little bit more on how they work. So I'm gonna break down, I'm gonna break down two more. So we got, thank you again, Miguel, uh, for taking time um, to break down DAL. So DAL, very similar pattern to overall market direction. I had very uh, nice, you know, two or uh, three or four green days because you know the market began to uptrend. It had a red day on Friday, so that's why you're seeing a pullback. So only time will tell with overall market direction. I'm sorry that I sound like a broken record, but so many things are being influenced by overall market direction right now. It's unreal, right? So I'm just gonna set my alerts and. I can definitely see why you're paying attention to this. I can see why people are paying attention to Boeing, why they're paying attention to you know American Airlines, why you're paying attention to all these airlines. They've aggressively sold off. They've taken huge hits as of right now. Again, just ask yourself, do you actually think that the market has shown signs of, of full recovery? Ask yourself, what has caused the market to sell off? The coronavirus and the market reaction. Have we seen a reduction in coronavirus cases globally? No. Are less people dying from the coronavirus? No. Do we have a vaccine? No. So will it make sense that things will only continue to get worse? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, uh, President Trump just extended our quarantine time from uh, for, for another 30 days. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's something that was shared with me. So what that means is, again, coronavirus, uh, we surpassed China. So, um, okay, so a lot of people are saying that he did. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, we're taking time, and, and I want to actually, I'm going to end it here. Um, if you have a stock that you want me to break down, share it with me on Discord. If you're part of our Discord group, great, send me a direct message or post it in the group alert or in the watch list section for Tech with Solutions or Learn Time Profit. If you're not part of our Discord, click the first link down below. It's our free Facebook group, and then you'll get sent over to our Discord group. One of the things that I wanna share with you guys, and I wanna keep this super short. Again, I don't wanna to take too much of your guys' time. Let's keep things simple. You know, there's so much, and this is, this is my opinion. This is coming from 100% my opinion. There is so much talk there are so many opinions being shared about you know, why the market should recover or what's going on. And at the end of the day, just understand that you know, what caused this was the way that we reacted to try to contain the spread of the coronavirus. The coronavirus right, is, is at fault and how we reacted to it. So all I'm here to say is ask yourself, does it make sense? Are we at a point... Where, where things are getting better or are things only getting worse? We just extended the time that the United States is under quarantine for. We are now the United States that has the most cases for coronavirus. More people are now dying more now than ever before and we still don't have a vaccine. So with that being said, ask yourself, 
with overall market conditions and how the overall market has had almost on every single stock a negative influence on overall market direction. So yeah, um, so most cases because of more testing. I, I agree. There, there's so much speculation between behind everything, right? I mean, the United States. It's it's. I I've, I've looked into it. Like Arizona was one of the top uh, for like the past two weeks. The top one of the top ten states of uh, the mo- the highest new cases in the United States. But we also got all the tests for the coronavirus super late. So it makes sense on why we're getting new cases because we're just getting you know tested. Yeah, I agree. At the end of the day, we are still number one. Things are still getting worse. Market, like, it would only make sense that the market is going to continue to sell off. That's simple. So you need to take time to understand why it's so important to understand market direction. That simple. So you can say whatever it is that you want that, oh, it's because we're getting, no, no, like, well, it's because we're getting tested more than China, all this stuff. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's, these are the numbers that are being provided and things are getting worse. That's simple. It's you can share your opinion, but it means nothing just like and nobody else's, right? It's do your part in informing yourself about things that actually matter. Instead of being so opinionated about something that you know nothing about, why not take time to simply inform yourself on how you can take advantage of on how to make money during this unfortunate time? It's it's so simple. It's Ignore all the BS and what everyone else is saying and just develop your own opinion, not by listening to other people, not even by listening to me. It's develop your own opinion by taking time to inform yourself about what is actually going on and how you can take advantage of the opportunities that are currently presented. That simple. If you want to do it, great. If you want to continue to complain about how unfortunate things are and you want to cry about it, you know, all power to you. At the end of the day, I think it's just in our overall best interest to do our part to set ourselves up for success. So all I'm doing during this time is I'm taking it day by day. I made a video about three weeks ago that I was going to invest in um, you know, the overall market. I was going to invest $100,000 and I still have not invested $100,000 in the overall market. I'm still just day trading and everyone continues to ask, Ricky, you're going to miss out. Ricky, you're going to miss out. Ricky, you're going to miss out. Why? The market has not shown any signs of it being done when it comes down to selling off. I am just trying to do my part in making sure that I try to set myself up for success. I do agree. I might miss out on a market reversal if the market does begin to recover, but I have not been shown. I have not been informed enough to be shown why the market now will begin to recover. So why would it make sense for me to invest? So because of that, I am focusing on direction every single day and taking it day by day until we actually begin to show signs of a reversal. Think about all the people three weeks ago that bought the dip on the overall market and where they stand now. It pays to be patient. Take time, inform yourself, Try to do your part to try to set yourself and your family and your future family up for success and just inform yourself about what is going on and how you can make money during this unfortunate time, how you can take advantage. There's no question that there is so much opportunity among us. I'm not, you know, especially for long-term investors, I'm not minimizing that. I, I promise you, I'm not. I understand that stocks are super oversold. All I'm saying is just because something is oversold and because something has sold off doesn't uh, doesn't mean it can't continue to sell off. So instead of trying to predict the bottom of something and the perfect time to buy, just make sure that you make informed trades and informed investment decisions. That you take a position when it makes sense to you and when we actually get indication of a reversal. And that's really just it. So what I'm doing during this time is I am developing and building a watch list, building a watch list of stocks that I want to invest in long term. I'm not someone here that's going to tell you to, hey, you should invest in these. These are based off of my criteria, in my opinion, just like my day trades are something that I personally see value in. So during these very unfortunate times, I'm building a watch list of stocks that I want to invest in long term. And I'm just trying to stay patient. I'm trying to keep things simple 
and I'm trying to wait for an actual indication of a reversal. And until now, I still have not seen any reason to take my initial investment. Yeah, I might miss out on something if all of a sudden the market does begin to recover, but let's be honest, I think it's gonna take more than all of uh, more than just an all of a sudden for this market to actually begin to recover. So uh, in my opinion, it pays to be patient and I'm very excited to allow an opportunity to present itself and all that means is that I have to give it more time. So I'm not here to try to predict the bottom of something. I don't have to be 100% correct. I just have to make sure that I try my best in doing my part in entering and taking a trade or taking an investment when it makes sense to me. So um, oil is cheap by, um, yeah. So yeah, oil is also going through a trade war between Russia and Saudi Arabia. And they said that they could uphold this trade war for the next, uh, what was it? Uh, five to six years. So let me tell you, just because something is cheap doesn't mean that it can't get any cheaper, right? And I'm not here to try to buy something now and have it drop 50, 80% in the next year. So you, you do what you want to do and I'll make sure that I do mine. Um, at the end of the day, all we can ever really try to aim towards doing is trying to best peop, uh, trying to be the best in which that we can be, right? So let's have fun with what it is that we do every single day and let's try to ignore all the noise, especially on YouTube alone. Um, and all these, uh, there's, there's just so many people that are just so opinionated. And at the end of the day, it's people are so opinionated on things that they're not even informed on doing. Just make sure that you surround yourself with people that empower you, that uplift you, that make you feel like you're doing something that is, you know, taking a step forward and try to do your part in setting yourself for, for setting yourself up for success. Because at the end of the day, you, you're either going to make money or you're going to learn from your mistakes. And I think those are both positive takeaways. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. I really hope that you guys smash that like and hope that I earned it. Uh, I'm really excited to see what this week has to offer. But all we have to do is give it time, allow that direction to be, you know, a little bit more clear and allow that direction, uh, allow that opportunity to present itself. So if you guys would, um, I'm going to be trading tomorrow at Market Open. Tomorrow is going to be Monday. Uh, so if you guys want to take a little bit of time to learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group, um, you guys have seen my live trading session on Friday. A lot of you guys uh, got to see me trade live. Um, I would love for you guys to join the team. We have a lot of people that uh, joined over the weekend that caught up and reviewed some of the course. All I'm saying is if you've ever wanted to see what it's like to watch someone trade live in the stock market and you want to see me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's going to be that second link down below. If you don't see the link, feel free to refresh your page and it should pop up. And then you're going to be able to learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group, what it is that we offer. And all you have to do is ask yourself if that's something that you want to be a part of. If so, great. If not, we have our free group that, of course, um, you know we're, we're here to assist you any way that we can. Uh, like always, team, don't forget to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.